First, Assembly. The Assembly means the Parliament of the UNO. It has similar structure like Lok Sabha. Every member nation can send five representatives to the Assembly, but it has right of one vote only. The meeting of the Assembly is being held minimum once in a year. The Assembly could hold discussions on any issue. That is, first, disturbing international peace. Second, to observe the administration of the UNO. Third, to elect the non-permanent and other representatives in the Security Council, etc. The Assembly is the platform where all the nations can put their grievance for discussion. But the Assembly has right to suggest by majority only. The final decision is left to the Security Council. Second, Security Council. The Security Council of the UNO means the Ministry itself. In the Constitution of the UNO, it has been given an important place. It has 15 members, 5 permanent and remaining 10 elected by the Assembly for two years. America, England, France, Russia and China are the permanent members of the UNO. Security Council takes every decision by majority, but to get it passed, it requires the votes of all five permanent members. If the decision is opposed by a single permanent member, although it has been approved by all the remaining, it is rejected. It is called veto or negative voting. Only these five permanent members having this veto right. The main tasks of the Security Council are First, to discuss any issue disturbing international peace. Second, to punish the guilty and disobeying nations. Third, to take action against the nations disturbing peace with help of the military of the member nations. Fourth, permission to the new membership, etc. In short, this committee is the heart of the UNO, as it has the real strength of UNO. Thus, the Security Council occupies an important place in the UNO. Third, Secretariat. The UNO has its well-organized and active Secretariat at New York in America. The Secretary Journal is the head of the Secretariat at New York in America. He is the backbone of the administration of the UNO. At the recommendation of the Security Council, the Assembly appoints the Secretary for five years' term. Trigiv Lai of Norway was appointed as the first Secretary of the UNO. The Secretary has other assistance for his help. The Secretariat has many departments. The staff in these departments are being selected from the citizens of the member nations. Functions of the Secretary First, the Secretary attends and takes part in discussions in all the meetings of the UNO. Second, he makes arrangement of the meetings of the Assembly. Third, he places important issues before the Security Council for discussions. Fourth, he controls the administration of other departments. Fifth, preparing the annual report of the UNO is his responsibility.